Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Kevin Garcia. I am your mobile home maestro. And today we're gonna go over everything you need to know about buying a mobile home and how to qualify for this purchase. If you have not seen any of my previous YouTube videos, I would recommend it for you to go watch those just so you can get an idea of how a mobile home park looks and also the mobile homes themselves. This will also help narrow down your search and decide if you do want to purchase a mobile home. All right, so now let's jump into the process. So let's say you decided to purchase a mobile home. First things first, you have to get pre-approved. Just like as if you were purchasing a single family home or any other type of property, you gotta get qualified to find out how much home you can purchase. Getting pre-approved when buying a mobile home is the most important step. And the reason why I say this is because the loan needed for to purchase a mobile home is a unique type of loan. These loans do not apply to all types of properties. That's why you need a specific lender who can do these type of loans. I get a lot of clients who come to me and say, hey, Kevin, I got pre-approved already. I want to buy a mobile home. And when I ask to see their pre-approval, I look at it and I end up finding out these pre-approvals do not apply to mobile homes. And the reason why is because most mobile homes you're going to come across that are found in mobile home parks are not on permanent foundation or are not fixed to the ground. So therefore, banks consider this as a different type of property. You can consider it more of like a personal property than real property. There are only a handful of lenders who do mobile home loans. Good thing for you guys though is since you know me and you're going to be working with me, I have a trusted mortgage broker that I work closely with that I refer all my clients over to when it comes to mobile home loans. He specializes in mobile homes and only does these type of loans. So I have that covered for you guys. After you get pre-approved, the next step is to go ahead and start buying the home, right? Now, what I usually do after I have that pre-approval in my hand is I go ahead and speak to my clients and I ask them, in what areas are you looking to buy a mobile home? Because you also got to keep in mind when you're buying a mobile home, it is a two-step process, meaning one process is buying the home and another process is you do have to qualify with the mobile home park. Qualifying for the mobile home park is the second most important step in this process. And the reason why I say this is because without that park approval, then you are not allowed to purchase a home in the park. So I always ask my clients after they get pre-approved, I always ask them in what areas they're looking to buy a home in. So that way I investigate and find out everything I need to know about that park and also the park requirements. Each park has their own park requirements. However, all parks overall have their minimum credit score requirement and their minimum income requirement. The income requirement usually is two to three times the space rent and monthly income. So let's say the space rent is $1,000, they wanna see the potential buyer making at least $3,000 in monthly income. In regards to the credit requirement, most mobile home parks have a minimum credit requirement of around like 580 to 600. I've seen some have it even higher than that, around 650. It all depends on the park and all the amenities and things they have to offer for the residents. They wanna make sure everyone who's living there is well qualified to purchase. If you guys made it this far in this video, thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching all of my content and supporting. Here's another key thing you need to know about the park application. Everyone over the age of 18 has to submit a park application. I get a lot of clients who end up telling me, hey Kevin, I wanna buy a mobile home for my daughter, for example, uh, but she's gonna be living there, I'm not. Unfortunately, when it comes to mobile homes and the mobile home park, the park requires everyone who's gonna be submitting an application has to reside in the park. So unless, let's say the parent is giving the money to the daughter to purchase, more so like a down payment money or any type of funds, if the parent or somebody else is helping you qualify to purchase a mobile home, the park is gonna require you to live in the park as well. There are a handful of mobile home parks that I've come across that allow subleasing, meaning you can purchase a home and rent it out, or you could buy it, somebody can help you purchase it without them having to live there. But majority of them that I've come across do require everyone to reside in the property. All right, so now you've been pre-approved for the mobile home loan and you have been approved to live in a mobile home park. The next step is to go ahead and submit an offer to purchase the home of your choice. Now that you got your offer accepted, congratulations to you. You're on your way now to becoming a brand new homeowner. Every step after this is the same steps you'll be completing as if you were purchasing a traditional single family home, condo or townhouse. I'm gonna go ahead and make a separate video for that process, what I call once you're in escrow and cover everything you need to know about that process. All right, that's it for me here. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you guys found this video both valuable or learned something from it, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned for all of my future content. If you are in the market and are thinking about buying or selling a home, give me a call. I'll help you through that process. As always, guys, catch you on the next one.